Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. All right, check out this live look outside. The sun officially down, but you can see the crescent moon on the left side hand of your TV. If you look at that, the left side of your TV, just a gorgeous sunset view. Louisville there in the distance. You can see an airplane flying by as well. So a really nice Christmas Eve night. It's going to be a cold one, though, for Santa and the reindeer. Right now, 17 degrees, but it feels like two degrees. That is it. I know it's been worse the past several days, so there are some improvements ahead, and that's the good news as we look forward. So we are looking at some extra clouds out there right now, but those will be decreasing as we head into tonight. 18 was the official high today after a low of four degrees. No snow or anything like that today, but there's a little bit more snow in our forecast come Monday. Before we get to that, though, check out this temperature trend. Remember when I showed you this last weekend? The temperatures were crashing. It's the opposite this time. Look at this. Very cold for Christmas Day, and then temperatures increase drastically up to near 60 as we head towards the end of this upcoming week. So some pretty crazy swings in temperatures. Right now, we're in the teens out the door, so a cold one for sure. But when you factor in the wind, it feels like two degrees in Louisville, feels like zero in Shepherdsville, two below zero in Brandenburg, and a lonely one degree in Madison. That's the wind chill. And those winds will stay on the breezy side into tonight. So those wind chill factors will slowly drop off to below zero, even here in the metro overnight tonight. So it could feel as cold as three below, four below, maybe five below zero here in town overnight tonight. And then heading into your Christmas day, Yes, it warms up a bit into the low 20s, but wind chills will be in the single digits and teens. So a very cold Christmas day. If you have any plans outside, be sure to bundle up and protect all exposed skin. Right now, this is the culprit for the wind chills. Winds are coming out of the west and southwest at 10 to 20. So those winds are quite breezy for sure. Still a few snow showers across the Great Lakes region, but here across the Ohio Valley, quiet in terms of precipitation, and we're not expecting any of that uh, as we head into tonight. So the sky will actually be clearing through the overnight hour. Hours, 11 degrees for that forecast low temperature, but wind chills between zero to perhaps as cold as five below zero. Christmas Day, hey, a warm up, 23 degrees, but still that's cold. And that's going to keep the snow around through the day tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies for the day. So the sun could melt a little bit of the snow, but temperatures will stay on the cold side. So we say goodbye to the clouds overnight tonight. Lots of sunshine for Christmas Day, looking very nice. But again, some roads still quite slippery and some still snow covered. Sunday night, clouds begin to thicken up as our next weather maker approaches. Notice the blue out to our west. That is some snow approaching by Monday morning. It doesn't look like as it doesn't look like a lot. I'll say that doesn't look like as much as we had with this last system, but we will watch it closely for sure uh, as we head into the next several days here. Now we are going to look further into uh, the future here late Monday. That's when we'll start to see that snow late Monday morning into the midday hour. So here we go. You can see that blue overspreading the area that is some snow here beginning Monday morning, continuing through midday and then turning to just some snow showers or flurries as we head into Monday night. And it is a clipper system, and those things move very, very quickly. That's why they're called clippers. They move at a fast clip, so they're going to push through quickly. So we're not expecting significant snowfall from that. It'll be mostly light snow, but some areas could get half an inch to maybe even an inch of snow, maybe more. We'll see. Stay tuned. But enough to impact some of the roadways out there since some are still frozen. Now look at those temperatures, Lauren, increasing temperatures through the week. Can you believe we're going from below zero to 60 by Friday and Saturday? <laughs> but by Friday and Saturday, with the warm up comes the chance for some rain and that's gonna do some snow melting. That's a true for sure. Kentucky forecast though. Yeah, just wild swings in temperatures. Okay, so let's get down to business. We have lots of little good boys and girls watching yes, right now, do. including my girls. Yeah. Where is Santa? That's a good question. I well, know it's cold, has that impacted him yet? It's not never impact Santa. You know, okay. Santa's always warm and has ways to stay warm for sure. But yeah, we are tracking Santa right now. And the question is, where is he? Here's the latest. Madrid, Spain. 
So That's what does that right mean? Now. If kids are up right now, they should mm -hmm. go to bed the next couple hours, right, Daniel? Right. So Santa usually, I guess I can't give away the time, can I? Mm -mm. Right. <laughs> Santa gets here soon. So yeah, go to bed soon. He'll be crossing that Atlantic and coming to the U.S. And Caroline and Camille, <laughs> he is coming for you. He's coming fast too. Get ready. All right.